the NFL, me and she were saying, oh, he was going forward. So you get the offensive play the benefit of the doubt. That is in your rule book. The offensive player always gets the benefit of the doubt. Don't try to do this, oh, yeah, we're up there. No, hell with that. We get the ball. That's our ball. Don't try to fucking do no damn gymnastics now with this shit. Pretty close, my ass. Paul, when it's the Saints, though, huh? Oh, hell yeah! Welcome to the Halloween edition of the most popular rising NFL reaction video channel on the planet. And I don't know why, because the team that I usually react to sucks. <laughs> but, hey, I went over 6,000 subscribers this week, folks, so that means apparently you guys enjoy watching. Y'all enjoy watching my misery, I guess, and where the misery would stand? Because now the New Orleans Saints, those great old New Orleans Saints, after having their third, fourth, fifth come to Jesus mean again this week, are facing the Indianapolis Colts in Gardner Minshew. Minshew Mania, baby, oh yeah! It's going to be uh, probably another very boring game, but hopefully I can make it entertaining for you guys. Uh, that is my job, right? So I hope you guys enjoy this reaction video for the New Orleans Saints. You are coming into this game very sick, might I add. The flu is going around. I, I heard it's called the uh, Dennis Allen Rona virus, and the team is just absolutely sick of it. So the sick New Orleans Saints versus the Indianapolis Colts. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy my reaction to the video and stay tuned right after for my instant analysis of the game. Oh hell yeah! This shit more than a game! Nice! Yeah, 
Some of y'all my misery, TV, just go out. Go out on me. You got it. You got it. Challenge flag is thrown by Dennis Allen on the same sideline. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm biased, but it like he was down offside before he was inside. But I gotta refresh myself on what the rule is. They might say, well, yeah, but this pinky toe was gra grazing the grass. Is he gonna win his first challenge? He's down. He's out. We'll step aside while they review. Let's go back to the Dallas catch one more time. Good at this, the body control, control the catch, right foot. Here comes the tap with the left. Boom. Yep, well all right, I was wrong. Damn. 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 Officials running in, no signal yet. They'll pick through it. Conversation, touchdown. What? It was like the forensic files, but they finally... Why is Trevor Reese pissing me off? Yeah. We don't talk about it. Taking my money. Oh! <laughs> what the hell is going on? Because the offense looks good, defense looks in. Are they? Did they do a freaking Friday for Halloween? Derek Carr heard the noise. <gasps> oh, 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 Larry, what is wrong with you? Touchdown is going to change the whole. Pick! Yes! <laughs> hey, go down, go down, go down, go down. Okay. All right, here we go. Hey, yeah, yeah! <laughs> go ahead, Albert. 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 And that should be a horse collar. And I'm in it, Bada. Come on, man. Bam! Dean Bland, don't get the hell out of here with that. Yeah, that is 
showing you. That's showing you how you seem to be the head of a fisherman. How they, they let you show the same so much. Oh, yeah, well, get out of here with that. They <laughs> say, all right, cuz. Your girl, bro. We gotta bring in the track the trailer for this drive. We gotta bring in the track the trailer at this point in the game. There's Saunders again in the backfield. All right, Taysom. Come on, Taysom. They can't stop you. They can't stop you. Hand up, good job. What a pass. Damn. Can't do nothing about that. Damn. Got a game. Oh, my. It might be a fumble. Tell me somebody who's playing better at, at that position right now. Please. What the hell is that, defense? They don't want to. Do y'all want to win this game? Like, come on. Go ahead. It. Oh, my. Whoever you are. Oh, he's trying to get y'all a game. Take it. Take it. Trick or treat. Take a treat. Shit more than a game energy. Shout out to the coach mascot. Nice. Oh, y'all did not want a goddamn pick. Is how the game comes to a close as the New Orleans Saints move into a first place tie in the NFC South. Wow. A 38 <laughs> 500. <laughs> so, all things considered, that might have been. The best the Saints have looked all season. Granted, our defense did not play up to the standard that we have expected from them to this point of the season. But all things considered, that might have been damn sure for the offense. Damn sure for the offense, that was the best the Saints have looked all season. Congratulations to them, man. And as fans, congratulations to the fans. Because when we give them our hard-earned money... And we give them our energy, you're goddamn right we're gonna be mad when this team is playing the way they performed the past two weeks. You're goddamn right we're gonna be on their asses about everything, right? We do it out of love. It's never with, with malice. We're never coming at them with vitriol and hatred. We're coming because we want them to be successful. That's what this shit more than the game is all about, man. So I'm proud of fans for putting that fire to their ass. And you know what? Great win. We're going to keep the fire on their ass because y'all are showing us what y'all can do. I know the coach are on the Super Bowl team. I get it. I get it. But you know what? We're not playing that many Super Bowl contending teams this season. So I want the team to look like this for most of the year. We are now in tied for first place in the NFC South. It's not a shock to me. I know how bad the division is. We are now tied for first place in the NFC South. And you know what? If we just play like this for the whole season, we can win a division. So you damn right on me with your ass, Saints. I do it out of love. The fans do it out of love. And if y'all lose next week, I'm going to be on your ass even worse. Because I see what y'all can do, man. That's what we are fanatics for. We want y'all to be successful. And if it means we got to be on your ass, Pico, I'm not going to call a great place. We're going to do it. Because you've been doing your damn day the past two weeks. Credit where credit is due. If we got to be on your ass, Derek Carr, to play like a top 15 quarterback in this league, we're going to do it. Because you play like a top 15 quarterback today. Credit where credit is due. That's what fanaticism and all is all about, man. And Saints fans, y'all did the damn thing this past two weeks, man. We got to keep doing it, though. We're not satisfied. We're never satisfied. We want more now. We got Chicago next week at home. That should be a win. We got the Vikings the week after. 
Kirk Cousins got I hope I hope he gets better. It looks like he's got a serious injury he's dealing with. If Kirk Cousins doesn't play and Jefferson doesn't play, that should be a win. The Falcons don't look good. They just got the ass whooped by a rookie. The Bucks damn sure don't look good even though they whipped our ass a month ago. The division is right there. Do I want it? Yes. Don't get me wrong, yo. I know I sound like a hypocrite because yes, I also am still not saying no ball. Dennis Allen and Peacock might be y'all turned the corner. Hell no. Hell no. But I'm a fanatic. And if my team has a shot at the playoffs, I want to make the playoffs. We don't know how long we got on this earth, y'all. We don't know how long we got on this earth. If I got a playoff season, I got a playoff season in me. We got to play the Cowboys at the Dome. Sign me the hell up. Granted, I know what comes with that, right? Like, there was still a lot of Dennis Allen Saints type stuff happening in this game with the penalties. We had a turnover. Like, there's, uh, we're not a Super Bowl team. Nobody's saying that. And nobody's saying everything's curl. And I damn sure ain't saying, oh, you know, Mickey Loomis, take a bow. Hell no. Hell no. There's still a lot of changes that need to be made. But for right now, we can only focus on what we have in front of us. <laughs> it's the, like I say, the circle of life for the Saints fans the past two seasons where how bad the NFC South is. It takes one win. One win in three weeks. And now suddenly we are tied for first place in the NFC South and we're going through this roller coaster again. I'm not excited about it. I'm not at the front row. They're going to say, woo, yeah. No. No, I'm not. I'm not. Don't get what I'm saying right now misconstrued. What I'm saying is, I'm going to be on the Saints ass to take it, though. I'm going to be on the Saints ass to take it. If they don't take it, oh, I'm going to give them the heat, too. And Saints fans, y'all got to do the same damn thing because it obviously looks like they hear the noise and it's making them play better. It's made them play better today. It wasn't a perfect game by any stretch of the imagination. Hell no. Hell no. It was way too close than when it should have been. A lot of players still got to step up. But a win is a win. The offense looks like an actual competent offense for once. And the division is right there. So take it. I can take it. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to absolve Dennis Allen and Mickey Loomis and Gary of these sins, but take it. Now, put a stretch together, all right? Winning against Chicago, winning against Minnesota, put a stretch together. And then I might actually be, like, genuinely excited about the possibilities or Believing that this team has turned it around. Do I believe the team is turning around? No. We beat uh, another subpar team in the Colts. But I know what's in front of us because the NFC South is so bad, so I'm willing to take it. But I don't think like, oh, boy, the future's bright. And no, no, no. I, I mean, I still know what this team is. I mean, it's, uh, I said this on multiple streams on my John O'Bon show, which you guys can catch on my YouTube channel usually every Tuesday. And I said it on other interviews that I've done, man. Being 4-4 four four is the embodiment of the Dennis Allen era, right? Up, down, up, down, up, down. Usually more down and up, but it's usually up, down, up, down. With this schedule we have, we should probably be 6-2. and 7-1, and one, honestly. But we're 4-4 four four because we're a Dennis Allen team. That's not anything to be excited about, folks. Trust me, I know. It's not anything to be, woo, stomping our feet or whatever on. It is the reality we live in, so we got to accept it for now. I still want changes ultimately in the offseason. I still think we got to look forward. But for the meantime, in the interim, NFC South is right there. Shit, why not us, I guess? That's my attitude. That's probably always going to be my attitude as long as they're dangling this carrot in front of this horse's face. Why not us? I mean, I, I, better us than the Bucks, right? Better us than the Falcons. As long as it doesn't give Mickey Loomis the delusion that everything is okay if we do make the playoffs, then I'm okay with making the playoffs. But we still got a lot of work to do, man. We still got a lot. This franchise as a whole, never mind the team on the field right now, but the franchise as a whole still has a lot of work to do. But until then, man, wins are not easy to come by, especially with this team. So enjoy it, folks. Savor it. Let it lead you to a very, very happy Halloween. But let me know in the comments what do you guys think after that game. And also, of course, feel free to leave me a voicemail and we will play it on the John O'Bon Show because I want to hear you guys rant and rave. Always, like I say, be entertaining. Try to keep it to under a minute to a minute and 30 at most. Leave your name, but just give me a call at 504-484-9170. That's 504-484-9170. Folks, we're creating something really special here on the John O'Bonnes channel, and I'm trying to be one of the few platforms for the fans, by the fans, that gives the fans a chance to voice their frustration. You can let it all out. We ain't got no senses on this, brother. It's YouTube. It's YouTube. This ain't no PG-13 channel, so let it all out. I'm trying to create something special here, and I thank you guys. Let me stir away a little bit right quick. 6,000 subscribers. That's awesome. That's because of you guys. That means that 6,000 people know, and it's shit more than the game. And I hope that we continue. Now, let's get to 7,000. Let's get to 10,000. God damn it, let's get to 100K. Because I want that damn silver YouTube plaque, man. I need it. I need it the way I need Saints wins, man.
But seriously, thank you guys. Leave a voicemail. We're going to have fun on the John O'Bond show. It's one of the, the, the highest rising YouTube show of all time, right? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, obviously, I'm just talking hyperbole, but it's definitely a rising show it's because of the Saints fans and even the Phil fans in general. Come on in. Well, so we got room for all of you guys on the couch. Come on, Colts fans. If the algorithm brings you here, let me know how y'all feel about y'all Colts. Y'all look pretty decent. Y'all got a nice little future as long as Anthony Richardson can actually show that his body can handle the NFL. Hopefully he gets better. Falcons fans, for sure. Let's talk. Bus fans, for sure. Let's talk. Hell, even the Panthers. The Panthers finally won the damn game. Let's talk. Saints fans are mighty welcome to let you guys on the couch. Hope you guys enjoyed that video, man. If you did, please continue to subscribe, man. Subscribe. Be a part of the early foundation while this channel continues to rise. Because I'm telling you, this channel is rising, man. I feel it. I feel it in my blood. This channel is rising. And that's why? Because of people like you guys who know that this shit more than the game. So hit that like and subscribe button. Or not, man. I'm just a human being. But I'm not the law. See you guys next time. And as always, it's still who that? Happy Halloween, folks. And never forget, $28.03, the price of the This Shit More Than The Game merch, on sale now.